Selamat pagi, siang, sore, malam. Hey guys, back with Kenneth here. Today I want to show you the ultimate MacBook Pro upgrade, maxing it to the limit. So buckle up. So we'll start with the basic specs. It is 13 inch late 2011 model. And talking about specs, it originally comes with a 2.4 GHz Core i5, Intel HD 3000 graphics, 4 gigs of memory, 500 gigs of hard drive storage, Bluetooth 2.1 plus EDR, and a DVD drive. Why I say it originally is because I changed everything I listed there. And these are all that I can possibly change, so let's get through it. First, as you see here, I've changed my hard drive into this 120 gigs SSD from Corsair. This is my first upgrade I got for 75 US dollar and this makes my Mac so fast in everything. Boot up, opening apps, copy this, copy that, everything is so fast. So fast until I used up all that 120 gigs in less than a month and I have to start moving my files off to an external hard drive. It sucks to only have limited storage but once you go SSD, you won't go back HDD. So then I did another upgrade and replaced my DVD drive with a secondary SSD. I'll talk about pricing a little bit here. The first time I bought my SSD, it was 120 gigs for $75. But now, in 2015, I got a 500 gigs SSD for only $100. That's a significant price drop. One thing to note here, I've tried to put a one terabyte hard drive on the secondary caddy and for some reason, I don't know, the hard drive broke. Maybe because the space is too small for the ventilation to take place, I don't know. Because I used to put it here and it worked normally, so I don't really recommend putting a thick hard drive in the secondary caddy. Second is Bluetooth. As late 2011 MacBook doesn't support continuity, which requires Bluetooth LE support and OS X Yosemite at that time, I did a search and found that I can change the Bluetooth module to the 2012 one. So I changed my module for around 50 US dollars. And with a tweak called continuity activation tool, the continuity worked. Then is my biggest and hardest upgrade of all is to change the motherboard from late 2011 model to 2012 model. I did this because I've had enough with that Intel HD 3000 graphics crap and yes, it is possible to do this with some preparation. 1. You have to buy a 2012 model heatsink. Just the heatsink without the fan is okay because you can still use your old fan. And 2. You will have to trim the display connector a bit on the sides so that it can fit. Then you're ready to upgrade. Just follow the guide on ifixit.com. The MacBook 2011 model and 2012 model have the exact same placement of screws. So now after upgrading, I have USB 3, HD 4000 graphics, and a new i5 processor. This new CPU performance does not change that much, but the GPU is. I got a video memory bump to 1.5 gigs now, and it is about 3 times faster in Cinebench GPU test. So now I can do some gaming with my laptop, even though the settings are still all the way down, but it's good to see now that the games can be opened. Also, finally, I can use continuity without any tweaks. This motherboard costs me around 140 US dollars by giving my old motherboard. And if you're wondering why I didn't upgrade to a better one, Apple never updated this old MacBook Pro anymore since 2012. So this is as far as I can go. Then as the last upgrade, I changed my RAM into two sticks of 8 gig memory with the speed of 1,866 MHz, totaling out in 16 gigs of memory. I can confirm that this is working. So to sum up, now I've got 2.5 GHz Core i5 processor, Intel HD 4000 graphics, 16 gigs of RAM memory, a total of 620 gigs SSD, and Bluetooth 4.0 low energy module. Everything cost around 400 US dollars, but it's really making my Mac up until now. I edit videos, work on documents, watch movies, and it all is great. Also, as a side note, for the Super Drive, I bought this and made it an external DVD drive. So, I'm sorry that I didn't have any number for games, but I did play some like Tomb Raider, Bioshock Infinite, Dota 2, Portal series, and the GPU upgrade surely improves the frame rate and the gameplay experience. So, yes, finally I can game. So, that's it. This is my ultimate MacBook Pro upgrade. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment down below if you want to ask me anything. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. See you later. Sampai jumpa.